Hi, I'm Bill Laveris. I'm the editorial director of the Enterprise CIO Forum, and I'm lucky today to be joined by one of the more dynamic CIOs that I've had the pleasure of meeting, Heather Campbell, who is the CIO of Canadian Pacific. Heather, thanks very much for joining me today. Thanks, Bill. I'm delighted to be here. Now, you've been at CP for three years. Look back on what the state of the IT staff was when you first joined them. Well, when I joined three years ago, my mandate was to transform the IT function. What I found when I arrived there was a company that had heavily outsourced virtually all aspects of IT from application delivery through to infrastructure and IT operations. And as a result of that, there was a stated direction or a belief within the company that having outsourced to you know, prime third-party technical companies, they no longer needed to keep on board the technical staff that a traditional IT organization would require. As a consequence, over time, many of those people had left the company. Mm -hmm, which is land you into trouble if you're trying to evaluate new technologies, uh, I would think. In fact, landed us into a lot of trouble because as proposals came on board to do increasingly complex uh, uh, parts of IT like a disaster recovery strategy, uh, the folks on board that were left were really business people and didn't really understand whether the proposal was favorable to the company or not. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I would categorize you as an action-oriented CIO and a lot of action-oriented CIOs would kind of go in and sort of rip and replace with the staff. Um, you did not. Why? Well, there was a number of reasons why I didn't do it. I mean, one had to do with the economic times that I joined the company in. And uh, not a good time to be trying to rip out people and, uh, and the marketplace, you know, just didn't have a lot of people there that were willing to take the risk to jump ship in those conditions. And as I uh, met with a lot of the IT staff in the company, what I found is that their IT skills, while not immediately obvious, were buried and suppressed. So what I was able to do was to spend a fair bit of time and some money and in a very programmatic way to rebuild some of those skills and expertise that I knew we would need to move the company forward. One of the key areas that I focused on was project management. I had noticed almost immediately that the projects that we were doing were late, over budget, didn't uh, cover off all of the requirements. And that generally can be traced back to poor project management skills. So I partnered with a third party company and we developed a project management program, a six week training program based on PMBOK. And we ran about 80 of our project managers through that program over the course of the last two years. That has resulted in them receiving PMP, Project Management Professional Certification. I did the same thing with our business analysts because another observation is that uh, if you can get good requirements at the beginning of a project life cycle, it will result in better quality of deliverable downstream by your technical people. So I partnered again with the same company to build a six-week training program for business analysts in the company. That resulted in their receiving master's certification from George Washington University in business analytics. The third thing that I did was on my technical people. And I looked at all of my technical architects, and we have had everyone certified TOGAF, which is the standard for architect enterprise uh, architecture. So that's resulted in, uh, in almost immediate improvement in the quality, our ability to deliver on time and on budget. Mm -hmm. That's outstanding. I mean, kudos to you for saving a lot of those IT people and burnishing their skills for them. W what's been the result, both the impact on the organization and how have the IT staff reacted? The results have been fantastic. The IT staff, I think, have really rallied to the cause. When I came on board, I talked to them about how it wasn't going to be a badge of honor to say I'm not an IT guy anymore. It would be a badge of honor to be proud to be a technical person in a professional IT organization. And people hold their heads high. They're proud to be associated with Canadian Pacific IT, our reputation in the marketplace has improved such that we're able to recruit higher quality candidates from within our marketplace. And uh, as I said before, we are actually delivering projects this year on time, on budget, with quality, and our customers, our clients are delighted. Well, terrific human resources story uh, in IT at Canadian Pacific. Heather Campbell, CIO of CP, thank you very much for joining me today. Thank you very much, Bill. And I'm Bill Lavaris from the Enterprise CIO Forum saying thank you for joining us as well.